You don't expect this. In this episode, we bust ourselves. He's right. Definitely. Put the challenge to us. And I have to say the response has been overwhelming. We've been inundated with suggestions. Although some of them have been kind of weird. I mean, there was this one guy that insists that those vapor trails left by jets are actually toxic chemicals put there by the government. Yeah, 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 yeah. Call a spade, a spade, Mr. Heinemann. You mean chemtrails. Something that kills on long term. Millions of Americans are already informed, but busting this meth is apparently bogus. Dear Mythbusters, if you really are men of science I expect you to have knowledge about some simple physical facts. Contrails form only above 20,000 feet, only if air moisture is over 70% and at least a minimum of minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. They are usually visible between 4 and 40 seconds. In extreme cases a maximum of 20 minutes. That's it, it's mostly water. Some of us have noticed as the article on contrails in Wikipedia was changed in 2003, adding the term, hours, and spreading over a large area. Since then, it is impossible to make improvements or any changes to this article. We are not conspiracy theorists, we are just some curious observers, with open minds and knowledge of physics. This is the reason we like your show, somehow. We will show you some examples of chemtrails, taken from your own show. Chemtrails are those things, the guy was talking about, Mr. Heinemann. If you follow the laws of physics, as you always mention, you will recognize the truth. The scenes are rare, very short and hidden if it was possible. Blink, and you missed it. We can understand why you are not allowed to bust this myth. Interesting fact, you mentioned this curious vapors at all. Believe your own eyes. Watch the sky, compare and became curious. Dear guy, it is your merit, we made this. Thank you.